Hey YouTube friends, this is Jennifer and and we are back to decorate another tree for you. If you're new to our channel, we are so glad that you're here. Welcome. If you've been watching us for a while, we are so thankful for you that you've been sticking with us this season and watching our videos faithfully and commenting and subscribing to our channel. It's been really fun. So if you're new or if maybe you watched and you don't remember, you can find all of our items that we're going to show you today at davidchristophers.com and there are a lot of retailers out there that carry our items because we are a wholesale import company so look for those businesses near you you can comment below and let us know where you are located and we can let you know who near you carries our products and you can always go into that store and say hey i'm looking for david christopher's products because then they buy things from us and you can find them close to you yes so you can just go in and touch it and feel it and make sure that it's exactly what you want before you purchase it don't take no for an answer tell them <laughs> they must have them yes you they must, must you they must, must get them now yes. you're getting demanding i'm sorry it's the fame <laughs> it's not my head <laughs> what fame there's three people that watch this video. <laughs> oh okay, so today's theme is called Winter Garden. And what colors are in Winter Garden? Winter Garden is mostly natural foliages and berries that have been frosted or iced. Uh, we want it to look like a very natural scene. Um, but we throw a few extra elements in there like some red birds and of course we're going to have some ornaments and a couple of surprises. I like surprises. So what colors are you saying? Green and red? What are the colors mainly? And white. Green, red, and white. Yay! Okay, so this is actually our base priced tree. This is our seven and a half foot slim mixed foliage tree. Um, and what we're going to do is we're just going to use this as a base. So it's a good size tree for this location. And we've kind of got this tree tucked back in this corner in the store. And what we're going to do is we're going to add a lot of different foliages. And just like this uh, cedar has a little bit of frost on it. But this is one of our, our nicer cedar branches. It has these faux mercury balls already wired to the branch um, so you get a little bit of ornament just by sticking those in there when you say you're going to use the tree as a base i what? mean we're probably not going to see very much of this tree when we get finished okay so you heard him you're not going to see much of this tree when he's finished and sometimes that can be your goal especially if you are trying to display a lot of products for others to see you have to put as much on it as you possibly can. So the goal is not to see this tree because it's not the, can I say it's not the prettiest tree around? Well, it's, it's, a, it's a very nice tree, but it's kind of a, a base tree. Uh, this is a Canadian pine sable fir mix, uh, and it's a great tree. It's actually our best selling tree for years, but it's a really good price. It's uh, It may not be the tree where you want the tree to show and be kind of the star of the show in that setting. She chose them how I clean and all I get. How many of these are you adding to this tree? Uh, right now it looks like I'm going to be adding seven. Because I really do need some depth in this tree. I have Quite a bit of different foliages and berries and things to add to it and I need some extra support and these have a really stiff wire in them so that if I need to clip some birds or something to the outside branches I can do that. 
these are a fun piece. This is a, a frosted pine stem that's got an iced sequin ball at the end of it. And those really help to extend some of that red out from the tree. Um, and they're wired individually so you can separate those out. But we don't need as many of these because as you can see, they've got a really, really good visual impact. We're going to use this white pine that's got a, a frosting on it right now and because we want to add a little bit more white into this tree to give us more base because we're going to add more green like more holly more berries and the red will really show up with that white in the background so it's time to tell a secret secret time. Um, do you want to give us a hint on what Christmas themes we might see in 2021? Or is that classified information? I thought that was classified. But, I mean, um, you mean just like the names or describe them? Just or? like a sneak peek, yeah, of what is one of the themes maybe not the name necessarily or you could tell us the name and not tell us what's in it or you can tell us what's in it and not the name i don't know well it's probably easier to tell you the name not exactly what colors and styles are going to be in it um because we do have some competitors that like to copy some of our products Sometimes. Oh, this is true. Some of our themes get copied. Sometimes they do. Across the hall, not to mention any names. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, Pheasant Hill is probably the one I'm most excited about for next year. Uh, it's probably something that I'm putting more effort in than a lot of the other ones uh, because I really think it's a little bit unusual. But if done right, I think it's going to come across really well. Okay, so in case you're wondering, basically we live in Christmas all year long. It never stops. So just to give you a little bit of an idea, in January we go to market in Atlanta and we show Christmas for that year. So January 2021, we will be showing Christmas 2021 in January. Then we go back in July and we do Christmas again as well as any new spring lines that we have and then we get into shipping Christmas to our retailers that buy from us in July and then we also uh, start getting Christmas out at our store here in August. North Alabama August. yeah sometime around August we start getting that out and then, so we start getting Christmas out in August and we start shipping Christmas out to our customers in July. And then... And in August, I'm starting uh, next year. Yes. Christmas. So August, David is uh, our designer and he is coming up with themes and with product designs for the next Christmas. So we're always working one Christmas ahead. So lately he's been up really late working on spreadsheets trying to decide what items we're going to carry. Sometimes he may tell the manufacturers what we want and then they send us a picture and it's not exactly what he had in mind so they have to kind of go back and forth with drawings and color swatches and things like that. So that has really been what he's been working on lately. So it's really crazy to some people that we do live, some people are like, oh you're getting ready for Christmas so early. Well, yeah, we kind of have to because Christmas is our business, right? It is. So, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> we have a lot of different holly branches. Uh, this one's slightly frosted with just a small berry. Uh, we have a larger holly branch that's got a a molded plastic berry so if you've got an outside uh, container by your front doors or something that's a great piece to use because if you cut that berry in half it's still red uh, because it's red plastic um, while some berries are coated 
uh, to withstand the weather. These don't have to have any extra finishing. I do not have a degree in communication. My degree is in florology. You're supposed to communicate to people. <laughs> And I think I'm the one that gave you the title Floralology. You did, yeah. When we first started dating, you told me what you did, and I was like, oh, you're a floralologist. Yeah, you're supposed to be the communicator slash eye candy. I think that's what you're supposed to be. <laughs> eye candy? Yeah, you're supposed to be what, you know. The, I look like a hot mess in most of our videos because I've been working all day. Yeah, it, it is going on about 13 hours for us at this point in this video. We're here at night because we're not open. My camera battery's getting low and my battery's getting low. Okay. Now we're going to use uh, one of my favorite items. Uh, this is a white tipped pine cone, natural pine cone branch, and it's a branch by three. These retail at $4.99, and so it's an inexpensive item, and I like to kind of cluster them together like this, and then I can wire them into my tree, but it gives you a really, really powerful statement on a tree when you can cluster that in there like that. We have so many berries, all different kinds, shapes. Well, they're all round, <laughs> but some most oval. Uh, oval, round, circular in some form. But these berries are no square berries. Our 26 inch iced gooseberry spray, and it is so pretty and sparkly. I hope you can see that, and it's going to look great in the tree. And I'm getting to do the fun part and show you the berry while David takes them all out of the plastic in the casing. Um, you will notice that there are tags on all of our products that go in our trees. We don't take those off because we sell these right off the tree. So toward the end of the season when we start getting low in stock, people will buy these right out of the tree. So we don't take the tags off. Sorry if that bothers you. We do at people's houses. So if you want to buy yeah. a tree and have us take the tags off, we'll do that. But only if they're purchased yeah. will we take the tags off. I want to sniff these too. I feel like they should smell sweet. So these I'm going to kind of do the same thing uh, as the pine cones. I'm going to cluster those together just for a bigger impact sake. And you have two of those together? I have three of those. Three of so those together. So sometimes I'll do three toward the bottom. So most of the pine cones, those are a group of three, that's a group of three, that's a group of three. And then toward the top, they're groups of two, just to thin them out a little bit. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Good tidings we bring. To a lot of people know um, these little white up houses. That I think are really cute and they work great on mantles and china cabinets on bookcases that kind of thing but I like them 
in the tree. Just because it's something that does not have an ornament hanger does not mean that it cannot be in the tree. Uh, we put things in the tree all the time that may not technically go in the tree. Um, but we're going to use a little bit of wire just to secure this. Make sure that it doesn't go anywhere. So we're making our own with the ornament hanger. Um, I'm using one of the cutout parts to kind of do that. So we used the back side of the church staple here that's cut out to add a little piece of wire. Um, but with the cedar in front of it, you're never going to notice that. And then we have this flat space, this gap underneath uh, the church. And really, if you'll just turn some of these branches that are, that are nice and wired up underneath that, you'll start to fill in that, that space that looks like it was empty and it looks like there's things supporting the church. So we do have two churches and two houses spread out throughout this tree and any of those gaps where we really have some space showing um, underneath the church, we're just going to take some stem and fill that in so it looks like it's perched on top of something there. some of my favorite ornament styles. This is a faux mercury plaid ball. Uh, it's got that nice shiny red finish with uh, some bright green, some emerald green, white and black stripes on it. And those are going to look great in this tree. But what we're going to do is we're actually going to put these in the tree. Most of the time we really want ornaments to hang for this because we've got so much already crammed in the tree, what we're going to do is we're going to take this ornament and we're going to let it purposely lean at an angle and we're going to cluster a few there. So we're kind of keeping with the same cluster um, design that we've used for the berries and the pine cones. We're going to cluster a few of the ornaments together here. And you can choose to pre-wire these ornaments together and on a piece of wire if you choose to, and then add them, or you can do them individually. It's, it's really up to you. So we'll just get a little grouping together of some of these. something we've used in other colors and other trees previously but because we have so much really going on on this tree already and we want to get some more ornament elements on there we're going to use this snowy pine branch that has some red shiny jingle bells but also has these red shiny mercury ornaments uh, and those are going to hang really nicely off of the tree you just want to take a piece of wire a piece of the pine from the tree and make sure that you secure that uh, so that it hangs properly out. Okay, so 
I'm getting sleepy. Are you almost done with this tree? No, I can always add more. Dang, you're almost done with this tree. I've got more. I've got more. we got like 300 items that we can put on this tree. Mm -hmm. 300 items in this thing. So seriously, how many more items do you have left? 300. No, be honest. How many? Mm -hmm. However many it takes. I'm tired. <laughs> I know. I'm tired. Uh, maybe like two or three more. This is a snowed ball spray. So these are red balls that are just coated on snow on the top. So we kind of, they're wired and we'll just kind of pull those to where all the snow is on top. Kind of how snow would naturally be. And that's gonna give us just a bit more red that we really needed that shiny red finish in here. small houses to coordinate with our large houses. A little bit easier because they're ornaments but they also do light up which is always fun. This is our best-selling bird. This is a little uh, five and a half inch cardinal uh, and he comes with a clip so these guys are great and especially with this grid ribbon uh, that we just put in they clip right on and uh, give us a lot of places. Like I said, we've got branches out from the tree that we can clip these birds to, but they're a lot of fun when you extend them out from the tree. Because when you put them back inside the tree, they're harder to see, but uh, because these are small, I think it's good to put them out where you can see them more easily. <laughs> 